Hey everybody, I'm Graham Boyd, Xbox Live's AC Bongos, and I am here at Turn 10 Studios with Creative Director Dan Greenawalt. How are you, Dan? I'm doing well. Good, so I want to hear about how Forza Motorsport 5 is using the new generation powers of Xbox One, and also the power of the cloud as well. The cloud allows us to move learning AI into the cloud and make it more like big data. Having that AI be less like AI and actually more like real people. So it's learning how you behave. It's evolving over time. It's evolving based on the entire community. So this is about bringing AI closer to how real players drive, right? Absolutely, and you can imagine how that would work in a first-person shooter or an action game where your squad mates are your friends and your family behaving the way they would in a multiplayer game. You also get worlds that could have evolved based on my actions and your actions, where destroying buildings or running a tank across a street actually has an effect in your world and my world, and we can play asynchronously. It allows you to create your own game just through your behavior. It's a conversation between us and the community. That's something I don't think it's talked about a lot, and I'm really excited about, because community is the heart of Forza, but it's also the heart of great gaming. Drive Atar is something that's been in Forza Motorsport for a long time, but in Forza Motorsport 5, because of the cloud, it's really a whole new level, right? This one is actually all new. It's got the same name, and it still is a learning network, but the cloud allowed us to totally revamp it, rethink it, rethink the entire problem. So what this system does is looks at how you drive, the behaviors you do, and it brings that up into the cloud and crunches on those numbers and builds a profile. It builds an avatar that races for you against the world, against your friends and family. But there's also a benefit to me as a player, right? My drive avatar is out there racing even when I'm not playing on my Xbox One. When you boot the game back up, you start playing, you're gonna get a report on the type of work that that drive avatar was doing. So in many ways, you never stop playing. And also, because your friends are coming into your race, you never race alone. You're telling me that Drivatar evolves over time. So if I, as a Forza player, get better, my Drivatar is gonna, gonna know that and get better as well, right? Yes, as you get better as a player, as you advance, it is gonna learn how you drive and it's gonna update. But also, the system, the cloud, it's like big data, it's like search, it learns from the entire world. So as it gets more and more people playing, it's gonna learn new behavior. So that means we've seen behavior that we didn't teach it to do. Driving three abreast through a corner, faking people out. And that's what's so exciting. So the system you're gonna race at launch day is different than the system a week, two weeks, three weeks later. So what other benefits uh, is cloud bringing to multiplayer in Forza 5? Now it's almost effortless for developers to hook up dedicated servers and give you higher quality matches where you have less lag, you have very quick pickup times, and you can just get in, sit down, and play. So playing someone from another part of the world, you've got a dedicated server, the lag doesn't nail you down. Now you've always been a very big supporter of the Forza community. What does the cloud allow you to do now to support that community even more? As developers, we can update our game, and it's not necessarily through like title updates or bug fixing that people have seen in the past. We can now just add new challenges into the game. We can put new achievements in. We can give you new things to do, but also we can see what is the community doing? What are they enjoying or not enjoying? Let them vote with their actions, and we can double down on those. So if people are really liking drag racing, we can add more drag racing, and they don't have to request it. We'll just see that people are enjoying it. Dan, thank you very much. I cannot wait to see how things evolve. Thank you. Thanks, Graham.